Valentine's known as being one of the yappier players in the AFL. Was he talking much in the last quarter on Saturday? No, nah, he didn't do uh, too much talking um, for the day, so it was, uh, it was probably a good thing. When did you find out that was going to be your role? Um, probably at the start of the week, so uh, yeah, try to focus uh, on the job and uh, watch a few games that he's played and sort of get to know where he sort of goes and the way he goes about things and the way he plays. Again, Todd, like you were aware that he kicked four goals against Port in the game in the last year? Uh, no, I wasn't uh, aware of that. Um, you only had one kicked on you, I think, since Betts got hold of you a little bit in the show. Yeah. Game. What were the lessons you took out of that game? Um, I suppose it was just uh, being more tight um, just around him and uh, sort of Eddie got around the back of me so it was just um, coming into Nixie the, the day after, our uh, backman uh, coach and just um, yeah, just learning where, where to stand and where to position myself and um, just learn from that. I'm sure you, like you don't really need to do a lot wrong, you can still end up with three or four kicking out shit. Oh, no, I don't know about that. Do you reckon that was your best game in the season? Um, yeah, possibly. It just yeah, that was just my role to play on Valentine, and um, yeah, that was the the role for the team. So I thought, yeah, I done done my job on him. Do you enjoy the, the shutdown role, or are you looking to branch out and be a bit more creative, move up the ground, maybe? Um, yeah, that would that'd be good. But whatever the the team needs me for, so um, happy to to play and um, play whatever role there is. Have you rated how you've gone so far? I mean, you stepped into a team that's on top of the ladder and you kept your spot each week. You must be stoked with how you're doing. Yeah, pretty happy. Um, it's all uh, hard work, I'd like to think. And obviously, um, yeah, they like what they see and they're, they're backing me in to, to yeah, do a job or yeah, do my role. So I'm um, very happy, obviously. You could, could you have really stepped into a better club? It seems like it's a young group, great lineup. Ken Hinckley's here. Um, you must be happy with how things turn out. Yeah, very, very wrapped that yeah how everything has turned out, and yeah, very happy to be over here in Adelaide, and yeah, loving it. Yeah, so very happy. How has life as a pro footballer, the, the punishing workouts, been for you so far? Very hard, very hard. Uh, gotta keep rocking up and um, keep doing your bit, and it's a very consistent job. So. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying it and it's been very good so far. A role on someone like Valentine, is that harder physically or mentally, just the concentration? Um, probably mentally, I reckon, just knowing that uh, yeah, I had to play on him for the four quarters and if I wasn't concentrating, he could um, go away and yeah, turn the game around and kick a few goals or whatever. So um, yeah, it was just the concentration and um, not letting go to the final sign. What do you have to work on, Jack? Since you come to the club, what are the skills and stuff you have to work on? Um, it'd be probably my kicking, um, and uh, just hand passing and just knowing the speed of the game really. So, um, in in traffic and things like that, and obviously just knowing the my role and how we play and just stuff like that. So, yeah. The speed of the game surprise you? Yeah, um, not too bad. It was good to get a few uh, practice matches, the, the NAB, NAB Cup, NAB Challenge, and um, yeah, just to get the, the speed of the game. And yeah, it wasn't wasn't too bad. What's it feel like to be a NAB Rising Star nominee? Yeah, uh, it was a, a bit of a bonus, really. So um, definitely happy that I, I, I got I got it. So yeah, happy. How much confidence does that give you? Um. I don't think really it changes anything in a way for me. Just um, yeah, just keep going about my footy and rocking up each week to yeah to play. It's been your biggest um, mentor for you here at the club, Charlie. Just sort of put you on your, under their wing a little bit. Um, it would have to probably be backline coach uh, Nixie um, Jackson Trengrove has been pretty good. Um, just yeah, another a backman and he sort of looked after me a little bit and yeah. Show me the ropes. What sort of things is Nixie? I mean, when you sort of first arrived here, what, what what did he tell you? Um, oh, just just uh, just teaching me really, just uh, about the the game and what I had to do, and um, if that was just to play on um small small people, that would that'd be me, and just if uh yeah, I had to really lock on or just yeah, just 
tell me sort of what I had to do. You ready, for, ready for the break? Yeah, so obviously 3 was a big game and we obviously really wanted to win it and yeah, have a break and so definitely looking forward to a couple of days off and obviously looking forward to Hawthorne. You happy or sad that Cyril was going to be out injured because it could have been a match up for you potentially? Oh, definitely happy that he's out. <laughs> <coughs> but um, yeah, no, nah, all the best to him. Who's a benchmark small defender wise? Like who, who's the level that you're aiming to perhaps reach that's playing in the game today? Um, no, I'm not really sure. Just yeah, just sort of uh, going about my business so far. So yeah. What do you do over the break, John? To take it, get away from it. Um, I would just probably family and friends and spend, spend uh, time with uh, my sister and dad. So whether that's yeah, going going out for tea or going around to a family friends for a barbecue and obviously trying to catch up with friends if they're not busy with uni and whatever. So yeah, just going back home and relaxing and yeah. You'll be a bit of a superstar at home now, won't you? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it'd be good. It'd be good. I'm looking forward to yeah, getting home and seeing uh, familiar faces. Porter on top of the ladder and flying, you've beaten Geelong and Fremantle. Uh, can you challenge for the flag, do you think? Um, yeah, we're looking good so far, but um, it's only the sort of the start of the season, so we've still got a long way to go, and yeah, we just got to keep rocking up and doing our bit. Do you think when you first came here, Jar, that the club would rise to the top so quickly, given the history that they've had? Um, no, not in a way. Well. I knew when I got drafted that they um, played finals and um, yeah they had a great year and um, that were yeah we're in work in progress so yeah in a way. Last question, guys. Does the um, does the break come at a good time, giving you a couple of weeks ahead of Hawthorne and maybe you're gonna get a couple back, like especially with Lobie to come, looking like he'll come back in the side. Yeah, so it'd be good to yeah have a bit of a break and come into a good side. And uh, yeah, obviously playing Hawthorne, so it'd be uh, it'd be a good game. So it'd be everyone be all rested up, and yeah, hopefully we'll be playing well.